introduce yourself. What is your name? I am Juan Rafael de la Cruz, but if people here call me Raph. Hmm. Did not know that. Uh, <laughs> where were you born and raised? I was born in, a, in Kevin City, Philippines. How old are you? 20. 19. Uh, how many are you in your family? There's seven of us. Five kids, two parents. What was it like growing up in the Philippines? Um, it was awesome. Um, everything was easy. <laughs> so relaxed. So, like when you were a kid? Until I was a teen. Mm. Even school was easy. Were you close to your family members? Yes, I am. Especially my mom. Um, my mom was a boy. <laughs> Aw. How old are you when you um, immigrated to America? I think it was about three years ago. Um, I was 17. I was 17, yeah. And what motivated your family to come here? The American dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. American, we, my grandparents came here and they got successful and they wanted us to, to come here too. Did your family have any idea on what they were going to do once they get here? Like um, where they were going to live or work? Uh, when we got here, we lived with my uncle for couple months mm -hmm. and then since my dad has been going in and out of the country back when we were still living in the Philippines mm -hmm. so he had connections where to work and then he told us what to do and where to go oh. do you think he had any um did you think he had to sacrifice anything to move here yes yes I for me um since I graduated high school there Mm -hmm. I had to sacrifice uh, my time and my my friends too. I didn't know who, and I didn't know anyone basically. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you work and go to school? As of now, I work at the airport. Awesome job, pays well. Mm -hmm. And I go here at Skyline College. You like it so far. So far, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is your major and why did you choose it? At first, I, uh, I tried majoring in psychology, then I switched to communications and philosophy. Hmm. Why did you change it to philosophy? Mm, since I, uh, I originally wanted to be a pilot. Oh. Yeah, but then I found out that I'm colorblind, so doctors told me I can't be a pilot anymore. Hmm. And they told me a lot of stuff that I can't do either. Then going at it, I decided to be a teacher. And philosophy? Mm-hmm. Mm, nice. Because with philosophy, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you go to school right away when you got here, or did you take a year or a few months off? Um, I took a year off because we generally we didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. Even though there was financial aid, and all, I still have a lot of paperwork to do. To, to do, mm -hmm. so I went back to the Philippines and studied there and then went back here. Um, how would you compare the education here with the Philippines? I would say education here is better mm -hmm. because there's a lot of, um, you have a lot of necessities, opportunities which they give you and in the Philippines um, usually it's hand-me-downs. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them aren't working. Some of them, the books you can't even read anymore. That's so true. Is it cheaper? Is it harder? Mm, here, I would say not cheaper. Mm -hmm. But since there's a lot of help, like financial aid, mm -hmm. I'd say yes, it could be cheaper. And harder? No. It's not. No. <laughs> Is it like coursework or? Um, say yeah, the coursework, because, um, I can I, like like I said, there's a lot of um help going um I I can get, so by just doing it, mm -hmm. and it makes it easier. Would you say the education education system here is competitive? Competitive. No. <laughs> Why? 
I, um, I think it's actually, rather than being competitive, it's collaborative. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, here, just in Scotland, for example, with yeah. the learning communities, they try to help each other so that the students can um, further their education. Mm -hmm. There's trio, there's a lot of um, uh, a lot of help you can get mm -hmm. that can you know advance you to, to make help you transfer and, and stuff. Okay. Now, was it easy to connect with others right away when you immigrated here? Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, it was very hard for me. I was uh, I felt like an outcast to be honest. Physical or just in general? In general, because I didn't know anyone. Um, I I was like an awkward penguin. <laughs> Have you ever felt like you didn't belong? Uh, in the beginning, yes, most of the time. Aww. Yeah. But you have a, like, your group of friends, you're okay in that though, right? Right now, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the best. Has someone ever, like, or a group of people excluded you from doing something you wanted to? Um, I don't think so, because I try, I try not to get into, you know, those kind of stuff, since I didn't want any trouble. What kind of stuff? Like them, because I'm hot-headed, so oh, if I no. feel, you know, I might get into trouble. <laughs> trouble, yeah. Do you believe you face any discrimination of any kind? Hmm. I, yes. Uh, I think I, w I was riding the bar station and there was this drunk lady just saying stuff about racial, about Asian people. To you, Filipinos. exactly? Or just like, pe like... The people writing the, the part. Yeah, the people, because uh, as I remember, it was there was a lot of Filipinos, and it was just her being drunk, and she just went all out about Filipinos being everywhere. Do you think it's just because she was drunk, or that's really how she, well, or how she viewed well, as friends? drunk thoughts? You know, <laughs> drunk thoughts it's always something it could be always what you're not saying when you're sober. That's a good perspective. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about today's civil movement of Black, Ma Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter. I think it's just history repeating. No, not repeating. Rhyming. Because it's been going on for quite some time, ever since slavery. So it's, mm -hmm. just, uh, it's just discrimination in another form. Mm -hmm. now, how do I feel about it? It sucks. Not just for the black people, but for everybody. It's affecting everybody. In what way? Um, with, with the hate going on. I just hate it too. <laughs> okay. How would you describe the demographics of the area where you live, such as your apartment or city? It's very diverse. Everywhere you turn, there's um, a lot of diversity. And are your friends mainly Filipino, or are they? Are there like any variation? Oh, our my group of friends are also very diverse. There's we have Italian, we have Chinese, we have Samoans, <laughs> we have Indonesians. Uh -huh. Just love it. Have you tried learning about your friends' with other co other cultures? Like, how do you do that? Yes, especially about food. Uh huh. Food and since I'm a dancer, I try to learn about dance. And since I'm a mythology geek, I uh -huh. read their mythology. It's just awesome. Um, so, based on the places you've been to, do you believe California is a diverse population? It is, just like what I said uh, earlier. Everywhere I look at, there's this a whole lot of diversity. Mm -hmm. And why? Why? Because I don't know. I think it's um. What? Why? What do you think caused that to happen? Like, if you compare California to other states, like California might be like the the most diverse um state. Mm -hmm. So why do you think that is? There's actually a lot of reasons why. The first thing that popped into my mind was 
because of Daily City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Because um, probably the first people, like our grandfathers, mm-hmm. that went here to to get the, I don't know, to get the, to be successful, um, took us, um, got us here to, you know, and since uh, there's just a lot of reasons why, I, you, <laughs> you know how there's a lot of reasons you can't yeah. pick one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. Like, okay, I'll give you one, like, okay. reason to yeah. think about. Why do you think um, there are a lot of Chinese people, like, in Chinatown, San Francisco? Chinatown, San Francisco. Because San Francisco, for me, I think is way up the technological market. Mm -hmm. And since China, or I think Chinese people, love business, (coughs) they actually tried to, sorry, they they went here, tried, um, you know, tried to compete with other business and make them, um, So, based on the places you've been to, do you believe California have a diverse population? Yes, just like what I said earlier, everywhere you look around, there's a lot of diversity. Like Asians, Caucasians, any Asians. Okay, wh- why do you think that is? Like, how did that happen? Ever since the beginning, like the influx of uh, immigrants coming here to um, to continue with their, the market, mm-hmm. right? That, that, like what I said before, the American dream, like what, what pursued us to persuade us to to come here, is the same thing back then. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so far, has your experience in the U.S. a positive one, or are there any, like negative experiences? Uh, yes, there are some negative experiences, but it's mostly positive because, well, as I said before, I, uh, I don't like the hate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I try to disregard it, even though I know it's there, I just turn it into a positive vibe. Do you get that often? Yes, I do. Yes. In what ways? Um, <laughs> just people driving, rushing, <laughs> road rage. Oh, okay. I just try and smile at them, like, peace. <laughs> okay, are your living conditions here better compared to the Philippines, or? Um, conditions, we talk about house? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> no? No, because right now, um, I, I'm sorry, uh, I live in a place where there's one bedroom and one bathroom, mm-hmm. and there's seven of us. Oh. Plus the rent is like three thousand dollars. But other than that, is America okay? Or yeah, there's a lot of opportunities, and yeah, I actually think it's it's doing better for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the education especially. So in Philippines, you had the room to yourself, and you ca- you had like privacy. Mm-hmm. Yes. So overall, what is your American dream? Oh, that right now. You said it a lot. (laughs) Uh huh. Yeah, that right now. Oh my God. Since ever since I was a kid, I originally wanted to be a pilot, but then Mm -hmm. I said before, doctors tell me I can't be a pilot. So right now, I'm trying. I'm trying to be. I'm thinking of being a teacher. Mm -hmm. Can I could also um, go to the military, join the navy, just to help people. Because I love helping people too. That's I think is one of the most American dream. Plus, can... you get to travel, right? Plus, I get to travel. Yeah. Because that's the main reason why I want to be a pilot. Yeah. It to be able to travel. Mhm. So I think that just to help people is one of my American dreams and to travel. Because I'm one step away from you know. One step Not further. You mention it. Um... If you're in the Philippines, would, do you think you would be able to, like, accomplish that dream? Hmm. The dream of me helping people, mm-hmm. traveling, and being a pilot? 
yes and a no. With helping people, yes, I could do that since right now there's a typhoon going on mm -hmm. in the Philippines. I usually volunteer to help those people in need, those yeah. who are victims of the typhoon. But me traveling, since their <laughs> just the traffic itself yeah. is really crazy, it'll take you an hour drive um, just going from here to Tamparan. No way. <laughs> yeah, that is an hour drive. What? Because of the traffic, but with planes and all, it's there's still a lot of um, issues going on. Mm -hmm. Like with people trying to scam other people. So you, there's a, also those security reasons. Mm -hmm. wow. But yeah, in the Philippines, I probably might not get to my dream easier or faster. And yeah. I think that's it. Thank you Thank for you. having me interview you.